Hi, James, Little Shop of Hammocks. I uh, just want to show you the basic uh, warrior hammock that I uh, that I make, and uh, what all the you know all the little attachments and stuff, and how they work, and where, where everything is. So, this one is my own personal hammock. I use it in the winter time. I also have a Swift hammock, which I use for hiking now uh, in the summertime. A little lighter fabric, you know, for less weight, less bulk. But this is the the basic warrior hammock. Uh, the zipper is a number five zipper. It goes all the way around. Just to show you. So if you're out in the summer and you don't want to have the bug net on, or if you want to use it in the winter without the bug net. There's a little stuff sack inside here that it'll, uh, it'll fit into, um, or if you're lazy, just stuff it up in there. But then you've got your basic hammock and it, it basically lays whichever way. It comes with a Zingit um, ridge line and then with a, a ridge line organizer. This one here has something different that I've tried. Um, it's an option. If you're interested, let me know. But standard, it'll be a ridgeline organizer that matches the fabric of your hammock. This one is a flecked iron uh, Tyvek uh, one. I just wanted to see what would happen with something a little lighter. And uh, yeah, so on your warrior hammock, you'll have uh, attachment points to bring your quilt lines up. And on the next video, I'll show you attaching uh, attaching your quilt. So they have the, the quilt hooks that help to, to guide the line up to the ends of your hammock, which brings the quilt up. Uh, on your ridge line, you have uh, uh, little loops, so you can attach things like, uh, well, in my case, I actually attach a pillow, right? So uh, on both sides, attach my pillow so my pillow doesn't fall down. And there are your standard tie-outs, would be loops. That will, in the winter, or sorry, the summertime, if you use them in the summer, uh, you know, pull out the hammock and give you that, uh, pull out the netting a bit. Here, let me, uh, just do this and I'll show you. So yeah, your tie-outs will be onto here, and it'll actually pull out the, the bug net and stuff. In the winter time, I don't use the tie-outs. Um, as your tie-outs come out, I find that it actually spreads out the underquilt a little bit, so you have gaps. I actually like to have it just um, laying, uh, just the way gravity's pulling it right now, have my quilts under underneath, and uh, do that. In the summertime, I don't want the mosquitoes up against me. There's little less, uh, little less issue with that compared to gaps with wind and, and cold. So, in the summertime, I do like to uh, peg them out. In the wintertime, I just like to let it go, or else uh, not use a bug net at all. But to be honest, I do. I have found that I am liking the bug netting on an integrated hammock simply because I can put my quilts in and nothing's going to fall out. Okay. You don't need a naughty mod, you don't need any of these other other things. If you've got an integrated net and you use it, um, it will keep everything in and nothing falls out. Your quilt isn't for half coming out. If you go do a break in the middle of the night to, you know, do your thing, jump back in, you're not going to have to worry about grabbing stuff that might may or may not have fallen, fallen on the ground. So, anyway, just a basic look. Uh, if some upgrades you can, you can get, I've... Uh, Put attachment points at the top of the triangles. Uh, in the winter time, I uh, tie a, a poncho liner across, and then it hangs down. Basically, it helps to keep it a little warmer inside. It allows the uh, condensation moisture from your breathing to go through it, so you don't get the condensation inside. Uh, rather than uh, D rings, which are standard, uh, you can opt for quilt loops here, um, so they're easy to to take off the shock cord and that. Um, that, I've got tie-outs, or uh, the zipper, you know, a little 
little loops for your zippers to make them easier to pull. And I can also uh, put quilt loops anywhere you want. Um, but that's just something you can talk to me about and then we can add it. Other than that, a uh, very durable hammock um, using the number 5 coil zipper. And uh, depending on your weight, uh, your, your, your height, we can go with different fabrics different widths and we can make sure you get the right one. So if you're in there and you're not sure what you're wanting, let me know. Um, there's different, like I said, different fabrics that can accommodate you. Maybe you're not hiking, maybe you're more car camping or you've only got a, a kilometer or a mile to go before you set up camp. And you're not concerned about that extra, you know, half a pound. We can uh, mod up a bunch of stuff. You can take heavier sleeping bags. You can do whatever you want. Your tarps can be heavier. You're not worried about the ounces and the grams, hey? But, um, yeah, just some different options. Any questions, let me know, and uh, I can help you out with that. All right. Thank you.